Hello, I'm Heather. Thanks for joining us for part two of Rachel's Poshmark Closet Evaluation. And let's get started. We'll pick up where we left off. Um, so even if you were to like swipe some of these, I would, I would, um, you know, even this one, I would still pop that in to um, photo room and make it white so that it matches all your other photos. Um, so they all look nice and nice and clean. So in lieu of that, if you cannot find um, stock photos, which I mean, same here, Old Navy, you've got tags, you probably could find a stock photo of that. Um, but even if you can't, um, you've done good by putting these on a background. So that's going to make them easy to edit. Um, but I would still pop these over into photo room. It's going to take you like 30 seconds for each one of these. And actually, once you open one, um, you can just flip the picture out. So there's a part where like you can just remove this one and put this one and then remove this one and put this one and then remove this one and put this one and it's going to and then like so you remove it put that one save remove put that one save room <laughs> i mean it's not you could do all of these you could do your whole closet really in 10 or 15 minutes it really would not take long um and i would do it for everything i would do it for all of these all of these right here i would do it for all of them um this one is doable but it's going to be a little hard it's pop might if you have trouble with this one, you let me know, girl, and I'll fix it for you. Um, no problem. It won't be hard for me because I've done it a lot. Um, but some of these ones that you have, have like that, that's probably going to be your hardest one because you've got the hanger and these little strings. Um, that's probably going to require some hands-on editing to clean that up. But like I said, if you need help, just holler at me. Um, these ones that you, these shorts that you have hanging, um, I would do a I would do a um, lay flat lay with them um, they kind of just look like a pair of dirty laundry hanging up there and we're not really getting the gist of it so I don't think you're doing it justice so I would flat lay it and then remove the background um, and then when you like even like this I know it's already sold but if you would remove the background that would that picture would have looked better too like just to get that background out um, yeah, and I mean, you're just gonna look so clean and crisp and clear. These, with these with these tags, please try to find some stock photos on these. Those will look so good with stock photos. And make sure that you're pricing good. Um, if this is what these sell for, if this is the what they sell for and they're new with tags, I wouldn't drop that low um, because you're gonna end up being t $10 before you know it. I would price these at like 25 if that's, the regular price i price them at like 25 in hopes of selling them for 20 or maybe even um yeah you know what i would just i'd go 25 but i probably run some comps i'd have to run some comps on these but they are new with tags so if this is the accurate price retail price on these um bring that a little bit closer just so you have some wiggle room um to make some profit on those <clears throat> okay so let me see where are we for some reason, my phone's not doing my face. Da, 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 da. Okay. So your titles. Okay, so overall, your titles generally are pretty good. So what I like to get in my title is, I mean, I don't put, I used to put new with tags, but I don't really anymore put that in the title just because it shows up right here. But there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I would say if you're gonna put it in the title, maybe put it at the end, just because, you know, that will let it, um, if someone happens to be searching in a Google search new with tags, that might help it pop up in their search. But other than that, you've already, the system's already doing new with tags, so you're, you're, you're just wasting a couple characters unless you're just looking for a filler. But I would say that it's better to have this brand, not that I don't really know what this brand is, but I would say it's better to have that at the beginning. So always have your brand at the beginning. If you're gonna put new with tags, if you've got the extra space and there's not something more important than you need to put, put it at the, put it at the end. Um, let's see, what we got here? American Eagle Distressed Stretch White Jean shorts, size two. Sounds good. 
Um, are there any other features? Like maybe raw hem, if you have room. You could put raw hem. Um, these are really short. You have short shorts, okay. Um, I guess, you, I guess you covered pretty well there. Let's see, what else we got? Let's see. I have a common finish, white, lightweight t-shirt, size small, sleeved. If you have room, I would get rid of the new tags and put short sleeved. Um, also, I'm drawing a blank, but this has a name. This material. Um, and I can't think of what it's called. So if I think of it, I'll let you know, or I'll pop it up in the video um, as a blurb, but that, whatever that's called, when it's got those little speckles in the fabric, uh, darker and lighter fabric, um, that's got a name. I would fi find a way to get that in there. Um, get rid of the new tags, um, change your size to SZ, and try to get that in there because that's a style feature. Um, another thing I do is I copy and paste my title into my description. That's just something I do. Women top, sh top sleeves, white and pink, basic, lightweight. Um, get something else in here. Always try to use all three. Um, figure out what this fabric is and put that in there. Um, or put short sleeves or something. but. It, you know, this is a gift that you're being given um, by Poshmark, so make sure that you get three in there. I don't, I don't care what you got to come up with. I do, what, I have to do it myself sometimes. I have to come up with something to put in there. But I mean, even whatever, whatever you can come up with, um, put it there. I mean, that may be new with tags. You know, whatever you can come up with, put it there because it's, you know, it's kind of like one of those things that's a gift and take advantage of it, even if it's, even if you can't come up with something great, something is better than nothing. Um, okay, let's see, okay, so I'm not familiar with this brand, Z ZCO Jeans Premium Denim Hot Pink Cuffed Capri Size 3, okay, let's see, what's this tag say, does this say that they're $44? Yeah, okay, so you're accurate there. Okay, and I think, um, again, I would go with 25 or even 30 um, just so that you have wiggle room because I think that this is a reasonable sale price. Um, can I copy this? I don't know. Copy. I know that I can't on the phone, but let's see. Ah, awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this is selling for. Like there's a pair that's sold for 32 um, and it's not even new with tags. Um, 24, not new with tags. 29, not new with tags. Okay, so let's click on new with tags because yours is new with tags. Okay, so there's yours right there. We not we want to go back to um, it's gonna take us out of the soles. So we gotta go back to the soles and let's see what we got. Do, 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 do. So we got 20 and 25. 25. 20. Okay, so it looks like selling in the 20 to 25 range. Okay, but you want to get put them a little bit higher so that you have room to negotiate. So if you want to sell for 20 to 25, you need to have it listed higher. You've got it listed at 20. Also, this is kind of a cool color. Um, I would think that this would be, let's see if we can get pink in there. I would think that that would be even more, um, more desirable than just the plain, but what do I know? Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, there's some colored ones in tw at 23. Okay, so I, I definitely think 20 to 25 for selling, um, but you need to list higher than that. So here's another one. Relist it. 
Come on, quit doing that. Here's another one I want you to relist. Okay, so go ahead and do your photos with Photo Room and get rid of your backgrounds. Do edit, um, see, you don't have any likers, you're not gonna lose anything. And just relist this and raise this price right here and raise it to 30. So you have room to, to negotiate. Um, and go with that. Clean up these, have nice clean pictures. Let's see, what's this look like? Huh, that's kind of a cool picture. See if you can find a stock photo. See, see if you can find, let's see. Because a stock photo of these would be killer. There we go. Okay, so even, you can even use these. I mean, they're on thread up. They're not that great, but, um, because thread ups are just on dummies, but let's see. Just kind of look around. That might be it is thread up. Those aren't, no, those aren't the same jeans. Just kidding. Just kidding. I lied to you. Um, so you've got like the only pair in existence, apparently. <laughs> The other thing you could do is model these. Um, you know, is it worth, is it worth, I mean, if these fit you, I assume they do. Um, maybe model them, at least for your cover photo. At least for your cover photo. Um, and be careful when you're modeling them. Um, I noticed that you had one, um, let's go back to your closet. I noticed you had one that you modeled, I assume this is you right here. Um, so I actually don't like this. I actually don't like this photo because I don't like that it's flashing in your mirror. Um, it's taking away from the picture. Um, this might be better if it didn't have the flash and if you used photo um, room to get rid of the background because you it, it looks good on you and you've got it styled well. Um, but maybe like, and it actually looks like the color is a little bit brighter in real life. So, you know, th that would be an example of, I wouldn't use this, this light right here. I would, I would figure out another way to do this, whether it means someone else taking a picture of you or whatever. And if you want your, you want your head to be gone, your face not to be there, you know, you can hold your phone up in front of your face and just get rid of this flash. Um, but and then crop all this out to, not crop but remove this and have it straight not sideways um, which I have a feeling you might have just loaded it sideways I don't know um, but anyways that would that has potential and if these clothes fit you you might should be modeling them if you don't have um, if you don't have stock photos if you can't get stock photos now a lot of the clothes as a reseller I have they don't fit me they're not my size I'm not they're not my clothes that I'm selling they're um, you know they're clothes that I source that I'm selling so I can't model them nor would I <laughs> but you're you're you you look good in the pictures so if you can model them model them same right here if this is your dress and you can throw this on and take a cute picture um, you know that would be good although there's nothing wrong with this again I'd get rid of this background um, at all of them. I want you to go through and get rid of all of your backgrounds with photo room. It won't take you that long. It'll make your closet clean and consistent. Um, okay, so this is one, I think this is another one you talked about. Um, that you were cons that you weren't sure how to get them how to get them listed. So this right here is what I would go with. Um, and if you can't find this right here online somewhere real quick and easy, you could literally, um, actually, yeah, you could literally pop this picture into photo room and get, oh, why does it keep doing that? And get just that part of it and crop it and have just that and use that as your cover photo. And that's what I would recommend doing. Um, so when you open it up in photo room, it's going to take this whole picture, but then when you go, um, and it might not crop it, it might, I mean, it might not remove the background, right? It might remove like all this and leave this white, I don't know what it's going to do, but <laughs> it might act kooky. And if it does, you go into that, you want to do it yourself. There's going to be a box where you can crop, crop it so that it's just this part right here. 
And when you crop it so it's just that part right there, it's going to give you a nice picture. It's going to pop just that out and you're going to get a nice picture. And that's going to be your cover photo. Okay. Let's see. Descriptions. We've kind of talked about descriptions. Um, we've talked about um, your prices. Uh, make sure that I feel like you are comping um, because I feel like your prices are are with the solds pretty well so i feel like that you probably are comping but what i want you to keep in mind is that you shouldn't necessarily go by the solds you should use the solds as what it's selling for but your list price isn't always on poshmark isn't what you should have what you're what it's expected to sell for you should list it a little bit higher in anticipation for sales and anticipation for offers, and anticipation for closet clearouts, anticipations for negotiations, so that you have wiggle room to give someone a quote unquote deal um, without cutting into what you were expecting to sell it for and what the comp is. Um, and we've talked about this on several of them now. Um, so I think we've kind of kind of made that point. Uh, these right here, I feel like could be more. Um, maybe I mean I sell Cal Calvin Klein. Uh, I'm, I have to, I don't think I've ever sold it that low. It usually sells $25, $30. So I think you're probably priced too low on that. Um, but okay. So there's that. Um, so let's look at your sold right now. Let's go and look at, whoops, I'm in the wrong place. See, I'm not used to using it on the screen. Let's look at your solds. All right. So these are your solds. Okay, so I actually did a little bit of digging around before I got on here, and I played with this one right here, and I ran some comps on it. And in running comps, I feel like that you undersold yourself. Um, I feel like that you could have gotten a better price and made some more money. Okay, so surely you have, I think this is the pants you have. I think that's exactly the same color and everything, um, I believe. Is it that color? Yes. So the, the, you did have them. You don't have them anymore. But I'm pretty sure that's exactly the same thing. Steal these photos. Take these photos. Make them your own um, and, and use them. Um, there you go. That is... And I know that doesn't sound like anything, but that is going to, that photo right there is going to increase your ability to ask more money. Um, so get that, make sure it's the right one, make sure you have exactly the right pants. Um, and then that right there, changing that photo and then having I don't know what you had it listed as but you sold it for 12 so let's look and see what comps are because I think I looked at this earlier and I think you sold yourself short on this also okay so here we go Oop. all right so So I believe that's your jeans right there. Size two, size four. I think that's them. And they sold for 30, okay? Now when you see these ones that say sold out, they may or may not actually have sold. So one thing that happens is if someone has multiple of the same size, or multiple of the same item, and they have them all in one listing. So say this person had a two, four, and a six of the same exact pair of pants. And they sold the two, um, but they still had the four and the six. And enough time has passed. We're going to talk about this in a minute. Stale listings. And they relisted it. Well, in order to get rid of the old one, if something has sold from it and you had multiples of the same thing in one listing and something has sold, you can't just delete it. You have to remove the ones from it. And all it's going to do is say sold out. So that's possible that this 
didn't actually sell for 25 but that they relisted it somewhere and just removed them and that's why it says sold out or it's possible that they did sell them all and they sold out for 25. neither neither here nor there just a little tidbit that don't always take these sold out ones at face value really look at the sold so this is a perfect comp right here so thirty dollars that's probably what you could have sold those for um let's see here's another one over here 20 so i mean more than 12 and there's yours at 12. so um i think you undersold yourself hold on here's another pair that looks awfully similar for 26. um so i think you i mean i think you undersold yourself unfortunately and um i think with that just that little bit more effort if you can find the pants if you can find them use the stock photos um if you have all this information and you know you know the style of it you know the color of it then go ahead and get the stock photo if it's there get it um it's gonna that that one little thing is gonna mean that you can increase your price so this is let's say we were just now listing this so let's say you just got this and you were listing it. I would want you to have run these comps just like I just did. Ugh, why does it keep doing this? I don't know why it keeps doing that. Drive me crazy. Um, I would want you to have run them just like I just did. So you would have brought up and you would have seen these 20, 25, $30 ranges. Okay, you should have, this should have not been listed any less than $30. Um, and I sure hope that it wasn't listed at 30 and you sold it for 12. Um, you know, sometimes you sell what you got to sell for what you got to sell it for. But I almost think that I would have listed these at 30 to 35 in hopes of selling them for the 20 to 25 is how I would have done that. And hopefully make a little bit more money because I think you just, I think you just got sold short there. Um, just food for thought. Um, those are the ones I looked up. American, and I just, I sell a lot of American Eagle. Now, one thing I would say is these sizes are very small, so they're a little bit harder to sell. But still, I sell a lot of American Eagle, and I, let's see, let me go to me. Let's see what I'm selling American Eagle for. Boop, 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 boop. Where am I? Okay. Let's see. I gotta think, because I don't use this. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to women. I need to be sharing. <laughs> women. And jeans. And sold. And let's see what we got. All right, so let's see, there's some Calvin Klein's, new with tags, 49, um, sevens, da, 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 da. American Eagle, here's some for 31. Um, American Eagle 30s, American Eagle 30. Now we're getting like really old. These are things I sold forever ago. <laughs> forever. Um, but I mean, easily 25 to $30. American Eagle has pretty good resale value. Um, and especially if you can get stock photos. Um, I have trouble finding stock photos sometimes, but if you can get them, like they're right there. I got $55 that sold like in a couple of days. Granted it's made well, but still. Um, if you can get stock photos, do it. Um, I think that you, I think you undersold yourself on all of those. Um, I wonder, does it tell me who bought them? I probably, probably not. I guess probably not. It wouldn't tell me who bought them. Yeah, like, see, they even, like, had you go in and do measurements and da 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 da, -da. I mean, oops, you did not, um, you didn't make anything off of that. So, make it worth your time. So price up a little bit. Okay. So we looked at your solds and then you are new. So you don't have any stale listings. And by stale listings, I generally talking about things that have been listed for more than 60 days. 
So what you do um, with that. So let me show you something on mine. Now I am behind because, um, um, because I am. <laughs> I'm behind on relisting. Um, and these are actually things that have oh, been sold. Hold on. Okay, so if I was going to, um, so there's a couple things you can do. One, you can pull up your inventory report and it will tell you how old something is. Um, but you can also do, I'm looking for, I know I've like recently relisted a lot of these, so I'm looking for something that I know is gonna be a little bit, I don't know, I'm just gonna grab something. Next thing, that, next thing I see, okay, this. Okay, that's the next thing I saw. <laughs> so if you wanted to know when this was listed, if you click on any of the pictures and go to open image, and then go to that, it's gonna show you right there. 12 to 2021 is when this was listed, okay? So if that's more than 60 days, it needs to be relisted. And what that does is, first of all, it's a great opportunity to um, make any changes you wanna make. Um, so it's great for that. And that's actually how I've been doing my changes is when it comes time to relist things, that's when I've been doing my branding. Um, so let me see if I see something that's not got branding on it. It's moving very slowly. I mean, my soul is getting for some reason. <laughs> So, um, okay, let's see something that doesn't have branding because that means I've not done it. Like, this needs new photos. This right here, I need to re-photograph this um, because the lighting's just bad. Like this was something I got early on and I just haven't taken the time to re-photograph it. It is an absolutely beautiful coat and I need to give it its do justice but this was the most recent listing of this the last time I relisted it was 10 14 2021 so it's time to relist this and I need to when I do that I need to take new photographs because these photographs are not good um, and I know that and I've known it for a long time and I just have not done it yet um, it's not better been a priority but so that's one way you can do it you can also go to and again I don't use the the computer very often so let me try to remember I found it before I started the filming I think you go to my sale yeah and then you go to my closet in no sorry I clicked the wrong thing my inventory report Okay, and you're gonna have it email you your inventory report, and then you open that in the email, and it will tell you everything you have in your inventory that has on there the list that you, the day that you listed it. So once those days start hitting more than 60 days, you start relisting them. And when you relist them, what that does is that makes it so that when someone searches for Levi's, and you have a pair of Levi's, it's sorting by just shared, but it also puts it into the just in category. Okay, so just in, these are the most recent listed. They've probably been listed in the last several seconds or minutes. Okay, and some people, A, will search by just listed. Also, not only do some people search that way, but just listed um, also creates um, emails to people and things of that nature. So um, Poshmark does a lot of um, marketing with just listed. So it has to be more than 60 days old in order for the system to recognize it and put it as a just listed. Anything anything before that, I wouldn't do it. The only time I relist anything before that is only if I need to increase the price. If I've decided that the price that I have is just too low and I need to increase the price, like I've told you on the ones that I've talked to you about listing your price on, only then would I do that and only after I make sure that I've offered my lowest offer to the people who have liked it. Um, so those are two ways to check for stale listings and to relist um, when they're stale. So 
make sure that we are doing that when you hit your 60 days make sure you're doing that um, so I have that's that's pretty much everything but here's what I've created as your to your to-do list the, Rachel's to-do list um, and there are let's see there are five things on here I think I counted right <laughs> so number one is share your closet let's see is Rachel active is she sharing her closet nope and I don't think you've shared anything because I keep seeing needful things and I know needful things and she keeps popping up. So, oh yeah, this row was a little while ago. So you've shared a little bit since um, we first came in here. Um, but but uh, not yourself. So share you. Share you. You, you come first before anybody else. Um, so like I said, what I want you to do is I think based on the sharing I see you doing, so Poshmark allows up to approximately 10,000 shares per day. And I know that because I've challenged it several times and you get anywhere close to that in a 24 hour period and they put you on suspension. Well, not, I, I joke, it's not called suspension. It's, it's like they call it share jail is what people um, jokingly refer to it as. And it doesn't last long. Um, it's usually an hour. Sometimes if you've been really, really, you know, you've shared like, you know, you're, you're at the seven or 8,000 mark, you know, you, it might be two hours or something like that, but it's usually the next hour that it will release. And I seriously doubt without any type of automation that you're getting anywhere close to that. So don't even worry about sharing too much. Share you, share your closet, get into your closet, um, click on your wrench over here and share to followers and click on everything you got and share it and do that not three times a day, not four times a day, not five times a day, but as much as you can um, and cut, don't cut back necessarily on sharing other people's, but don't share them if you're not sharing you. If you don't have time to share you, don't share all these people. And I don't see you, like I have not found you sharing yourself. So, and I don't know who I just clicked on, my bad. Um, but if you go to like me, my shares, automated, So my system's been sharing people. Let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> well, my system is sharing the crap out of people while, while we're talking. So I can't find me. But anyways, I can't find me. Make sure you are sharing you. I'm gonna stop searching there. Um, okay, so the next thing that I would say on your to-do list is to become a Posh Ambassador. Um, you've got a little work to get there. You're brand new, um, so you're not close yet, um, but the way you find out if you're not familiar with Posh Ambassador, the main benefit I would say to Posh Ambassador is one, you're gonna get, um, you're gonna get that little thing right there, okay? And you're gonna be able to say, hey, I'm a Posh Ambassador on your listings. You can put that in there. Um, and it's going to, the system will start recommending you as a seller once you become a Posh, posh Ambassador. So people will start getting you recommended to them. So the way you become a Posh Ambassador is, Here are, the, here are the stats for Posh Ambassador. So you need a minimum of 5,000 community shares, and the community shares means you're sharing other people's closets. You need to share yourself 5,000 times. You need to be sharing a minimum of 50 new poshers. Um, and so the way you get, I'll show you how to get to new poshers in a second. You need to have a minimum of 50 available listings. You need to have at least 15 sales. You need to have a, a star rating of more than 4.5. You need to be shipping in less than three days and you need to have one love note given. So you have to buy something and give a love note to the to whoever you buy it from if you haven't already done so. Um, so those are the things that you have to have. Once you get Poshmark 
posh ambassador status. Um, supposedly you can lose it, but I've, you know, not had that problem. So, um, I guess if you like skimped on your ship time or your stars fell really low, cause all these other things, like their thresholds that you've met, um, like once you meet these, you're not going backwards. I mean, maybe having, um, you know, your available listings dropping too low or something might get you off of there, but everything else it's like, you've met it, you've met it, you're done. Um, there's not a ton of benefit to it, but there is a little bit. So I would try to get it. Uh, don't kill yourself to get it. But a lot of the things that you'll be doing to improve your closet in general will also help you get there. Okay. Um, so the other thing I want you to do is make sure that you're comping your listings actually at like you where you're still really new and you don't have a ton of people on your listings, a ton of likes, just go through and comp out all your listings comp them out and make sure that you are pricing your listings in order to provide discounts in the form of your your closet um, your bundle closet discount in the form of like uh, offers to likers in the form of closet clear out um, whatever you know whatever form of potential discounts there may be in order for you to still be getting a sale price within the reasonable comps if it's new with tags, click on the new with tags to get the comps. Don't just go with the things that aren't new with tags. So I would go through, you don't have that many things. Um, you could you could do this. Um, you could sit down one afternoon and do all these things I'm recommending. Um, while you're doing your pictures, go ahead and relist everything, comp everything out and adjust your prices so that you are in a level where you can provide discounts and still get a sale price at your comped amount. Sometimes low prices put people off. So sometimes um, it's not always beneficial to have your price low. You know, you think that people will buy things because the price is low, but sometimes that's a, a put off. Um, so that's that. Okay, we've already talked about improving your pictures. I'm not gonna reiterate that anymore. It's, I think that there's pretty simple things that you can do for that that isn't gonna be very time consuming. And then going forward, just put those things into action. Um, so that you don't have to go back and fix them. Just go with that new, get that new pattern, that new flow of how you're going to do things. And that's just how you do it from now on. If you had a larger closet, I would not be recommending that you go back and, and fix everything, but because your closet is small and there are, I also think you need to make changes to prices. I think you should just go ahead and fix it. Just go ahead and just go ahead and fix it. it you could do all of it, sit down for a couple hours, two or three hours and get it all done. Okay, the next thing, the last recommendation I have has to do with you growing your closet. If you want to grow your closet and make this into your side hustle, make this into a little side income that you could actually make some money on, then you need to be sourcing smart. I don't know what if any of these items you have sourced and what if any of these items, I know you said that you had gotten some things from Goodwill, I believe. Um, somewhere in the notes you sent me. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Anyways, I've lost it. I can't find it now. Okay, so you people give you stuff and you get stuff from Goodwill. That's fine, that's great. If you're going to Goodwill, there is good stuff at Goodwill. You have to be picky. You have to be picky. It doesn't do any good to get um, something that you're gonna sell for $7. It doesn't, even if this was a dollar, it doesn't do any good. Don't get this, okay? Don't get this item. It's not worth your time. Now, if this just happens to be sitting here and you just wanna get it rid of it, that's fine. But again, I think if you modeled this and got a good picture with the background gone or found a, or, or happened to find a stock photo or something, you could probably sell that for 15 or 20 instead of seven. Uh, but you just have to kind of make this, make it more desirable, make it more desirable. Um, you might be downplaying yourself right here a little bit too. So make it more desirable. Skirts are super hard to sell, just so you know. Everyone kind of has trouble selling skirts. Um, and the other thing I would recommend is um, instead of, like, I mean, this is great, your, your, your percentage off, but I think I would actually also do like a two, some type of two, four um, sale in your closet. Um, you know, maybe everything you have under a certain amount, you do two for 15 or two for 20 or something like that. So maybe, um, I, I think maybe I do like everything under $15 and do, 
like a two for 15 or something like that. Um, just to get some stuff moving, to get some of these lower items out, um, you might as well just get them gone so that you can quit focusing on them and, um, and start doing something else. So what I would actually suggest you do to do that is go to your my shoppers go to my shoppers and go to filter by likes and click on the top person now i have a ton okay because but just scroll until you hit the end and just keep on scrolling until you hit the end and then click on the last person hit shift and click on the last person it's going to fill in every single person in between okay and then I want you to send them all a comment, send a comment and say that you're having a flash sale of um, two for 15 um, of the items marked or two for 20 of anything, or you could do three for 20 of anything in your closet, whatever. Come up with something to clear some of that inventory out so that you have a little bit of money because what I want you to do is to quit focusing on this inventory that's selling for these prices and start focusing on inventory like, um, you know, Calvin Klein jeans that you could source and sell for 25 or 30. I want you to start making it so that you're sourcing things that you can sell for $25 or more. Not list for $25 or more, but sell for $25 or more. And you can do that at Goodwill. Um, you don't have to put a lot of money into it. You can do that at Goodwill. So try to clear out some of this inventory even if it means not making a lot off of it just to get some money and then take that money and go to goodwill and get better stuff i wouldn't i wouldn't get too lenient these things with tags i would definitely work on trying to make more money off of these things that are new with tags all your stuff new with tags all of it that's new with tags try to make more money off of it um definitely get fix your pictures relist at a higher price and try to make more money off of all of your things new with tags all of your jeans try to do that with um, you know, but anything like that you absolutely, there's not much you can do to, to increase it. Um, even this right here, you know, try to get rid of some of this stuff and then get that money and take that money and go to Goodwill and find things that are quality. So go on to, um, go on to YouTube and, um, I can give you, I can recommend some YouTubers that have really great, uh, bolo, um, um, videos or bread and butter videos you might want to look you might want to stick with some bread and butter type things right now where you're starting off because they tend to be at a lower price point um, first of all they're easier to find bread and butter is easier to find um, so you can get it you can get your hands on it and then they usually sell well at a decent price and by decent I mean $25 or more so for example some of my bread and butters are some of my jeans like um, my Calvin Klein jeans and my American Eagle jeans. Those are bread and butter. Let's go to my sales and just kind of look at um, some of my recent sales. So you can kind of get an idea if my screen would work. I wonder if it's getting mad because I've been on here too long. <laughs> so let's just kind of look at me for a second. Okay, so some of my bread and butter, some of these things are wholesale items. You're not in the wholesale realm right now. Okay, J. Crew bread and butter. Um, Ann Taylor Loft, for me, that's bread and butter. Um, different jean brands. Um, Madewell, Levi's, the right, the right styles. Um, uh, American Eagle cut from the cloth, things like that. And a lot of those you can find at Goodwill. You can find at Goodwill. Find out when their sales are. Um, things like Nike's. Nike's a real bread and butter. Um, if you can get your hands on it. Um, I sell a lot of that. I have a lot of wholesale stuff. Do, 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 do. I'm looking. Uh, free people, but it's hard. Free people's hard. If you just happen to come across something um, at Goodwill that's like, free people and it's there it's like dollars like just a couple of dollars um if it's unique get it if it's just some like basic t-shirt if it's something basic don't get it um 
let's see there's some Ann Taylor Loft I sell I, that's kind of a bread and butter for me I do sell a lot of Ann Taylor Loft um, Tommy Hilfiger Calvin Klein um, those are bread and butter um, for me uh, sometimes the right pink things can do okay um, more Ann Taylor so just kind of do some research on brands okay do go on YouTube do some research on brands type in Poshmark bread and butter brands and search that okay let's just go and look real quick okay let's let's see I don't do bread and butter videos at this point so I can't <laughs> help you with that just yet because I don't have a video for it but okay so Becky Park on Poshmark right here she's got about every video you could imagine so check her out Ashley Wheeler's got a lot of good videos check her out um, her DM thrifts have a lot of good videos let's see who else we got here um, okay so what you want to do is um, type in Poshmark bread and butter oh there it is it knew what we wanted whoops bread and butter Okay, Mogi Beth, great. So, go to Mogi Beth, check, check her out. Um, check out Ma um, Marzi Chick. So, bread and butter brands. So, start looking at those, okay? So, um, Becky Park is great for bread and butter brands because she gets a lot of like mall bread and butter brands. So, go and look at some of these videos and start, you're gonna see that these are brands that you can find in the Goodwill. Now that doesn't mean that you get every single one of them. It means that you you act smart, you think smart. Um, you shop on, you find out when your Goodwill's dollar days are, or when your Goodwill is having tag sales. Call them and ask them, when are your tag sales, when are your dollar days? That's when you wanna shop. shop. And you wanna be very specific that you are shopping for the things that are on tag sale or on dollar day, tag, dollar day sale. Don't get anything else. Just tell yourself you're not gonna get anything else. Decide how much money you're spending. Okay, say I'm gonna spend $25. Take that $25 and max what you can get, the best things you can get on that tag sale or that dollar day tag sale and get you know a couple of the best things you can get. Dig through that store, spend time in that store. Um, so think about things that sell really well. Jeans sell really well, dresses sell really well. Right now sweaters are selling really well. Um, outerwear sells really well find those things on sale in the brands that are bread and butter brands that are in good condition that are resellable that are on trend that are unique that are going to stand out when someone's scrolling when someone's scrolling when someone's scrolling what stands out so someone told me one time to squint your eyes when you're looking at the screen squint your eyes and then scroll your screen and see what's standing out okay those are the pictures you want because when someone's scrolling through the screen, those are the things that are jumping out. So do that to do that to your screen and see what's working. Go to other people's screens and see what's working. Just go to, is there a party going on right now? Let's see, da, da, da. how do I get to a party from here? No idea, all right, let's go to feed. Okay, so let's squint our eyes and scroll. What's standing out? Is anything standing out? So those are the pictures. That's how you want your pictures. You want them to stand out. You want them to pop, okay? And that's, ooh, that one stands out really good when you squint. Um, so you want your, the item, you want the item to pop out, okay? And think about that when you're creating pictures. That one doesn't. You know what pops out? When I squint my eyes, this black part on the top, okay? Not the earrings. This is a bad background. We don't need to use a background like that with this. This needs to be being done on a white background. Okay, just a little tidbit. Let's see, what else? All right, let's scroll, scroll, scroll. Yeah, there's another one. That's not popping out either. That's not popping out at all. We need a better background. Usually it's a background issue. Okay. Anyways, you get the point. You get the point. Do that with your closet. If they don't pop out, figure out how to make them pop out okay all right so we're gonna share our closet 
We're gonna work on making a goal of becoming a Posh Ambassador. We're gonna comp all our listings and price them to sell within the comps, not to list within the comps. We're gonna improve our pictures and we're gonna improve our sourcing so that you have items that are going to sell, sell for more than $25. That's your goal, sell for more than $25. Okay, I think that about covers it, Rachel. I've, uh, if you want some notes, we've got them. Anybody else that's listening? I'd like to thank Rachel so much for letting me um, dive deep into her closet and do a Poshmark closet evaluation. I appreciate her allowing me um, to kind of pick it apart and give her some constructive criticism and for allowing me to record it and post it on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much, Rachel. And for everyone else, if you like this video, please click like. If you like reseller content and Poshmark content, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the, the bell for notifications because I'd love for you to join me on my journey. Y'all have a great day and a blessed day. Thank you so much.